Look at Diesel chillaxing after his bath. He looks like a puppy there. Baby, look, it looks like when we got him as a puppy. So if you guys didn't know, when we first got Diesel, his name was actually Cody. But I always wanted to name a dog Diesel because I felt like Diesel is like a big, strong heart. <laughs> we found out that he does have a strong heart. Babe, look. Tara. Tara, look. Just blow dry him. I let him back in the house. He doesn't like to be blow dried. He likes to air dry. How do you know? Because when I blow dry him, he tries to bite the <laughs> blow dryer. That's how I know. <laughs> okay. Understood. Alright. <laughs> We're starting it. Babe, We're I wanted starting start, it. I wanted to start the vlog. Jayla, I don't think I like my hair this way anymore. Why? I think I'm done with it. Let me I see. want it straight. Let me see. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's oh. beautiful. Don't do that. You don't do that. You don't Why? do that. Why would you do that? You fluff it out. You don't flatten it down. Welcome back to Smelly Belly TV, guys. If you are not subscribed what about my hair? to the okay, channel, I'm just gonna get do a hat. So. subscribe. Hit your notification bell. Make sure you have all notifications turned on. Subscribe to this little cutie. Where'd she go? Come back here. Come back here. We haven't seen Enzo in a week. We yeah. just got back from vacation. He eats flies now. He does eat flies. <laughs> it's his new pastime. So subscribe to this little cutie. And that little cutie has a channel, but she never posts. <laughs> She's too lazy about it. How does my hair look like that? Like what? Yours looks great. You just got out of the shower. Anywho, it is um Operation Get Things Done Day. We gotta go pick up our ferrets. We're super excited to see them. They've been at the babysitters. What is going on back here? I don't know. But anyways, um, Diesel, the one that you hear making all the ruckus because he wants to be the center of attention, needs a bath. And you guys, he gets a little grouchy. Uh, he likes to rawr, rawr when he gets a bath. So we'll see how that goes I gave, today. Uh, I gave Enzo a bath yesterday. He's the easy one that doesn't rawr, rawr at you. He just so. slips. So you can just do whatever you want to Enzo. Yeah. Like for Diesel, we even have to sedate him at the groomers. But I guess that's a pretty common thing is what they told us. They have a lot of uh, dogs that have to be sedated because they just don't like it. He doesn't like it. How have our pets been doing since we've been gone? The ducks have grown so much. Uh, I don't know. I don't think the ferrets, they're fully grown. Like they're they're done. They're, that's it. We got two new baby chicks that be growing. Um, but the one other- One's not growing. One's still tiny. One's staying really tiny. I feel like it has some type of dwarfism or something going on. And then one is like super orange now. Yeah. So blah, we'll, blah, 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 let's go. Okay, so it would not be a daily outing with SBTV without a gas station stop. Like, we just have to. So I got myself a Gatorade because I'm feeling like I just need some sugar in my life. I've hardly ever eat or drink anything with sugar. And then we have, Jayla is a sunflower seed addict. What are those? Llama gummies! We got llama gummies. We've never tried those. She's a sunflower seed addict. Um, she has bags by her bed, bags in the pantry. We just got a new fresh bag, even though she doesn't need it. And what do we have back there? What'd you guys get? A vitamin, oh, dragon fruit vitamin water. This Show them that. actually better than like the dragon fruit drink at Starbucks. Really? Yes. Uh oh. They're dragon fruit drink connoisseurs, so. There you go. We're waiting. We'll wait. Don't worry about it. That's what it is, basically. No sugar. Oh, they're llamas. It's a vitamin water. And All vitamins, so no sugar. Love it. Uh -huh, no sugar. Thanks. All right, so um, we just got back from Extreme Exotics. That's who watches our ferrets while we're gone. We're going to let them run around a little bit, have some fun, reunite with the family. So let's go home. I have sad news. Look at my beautiful flowers. RIP. I'm trying to survive them, or revive them, sorry. But every time I water, the sideways pot, because I have this pot that's super cute, I love it. It's supposed to be that way, it has a flat bottom. It, all the dirt like leaks out. Ada recommended that I tilt it up while I water it, but that's kind of hard. It's not all my fault. We were gone for a week, and um, the person watching our house, you know who you are? He's also our editor. Um, didn't water my flowers, so kind of his fault too. Just gonna put that out there. I was able to get the pot to stand up. Um, you can see down here how it has this like flat bottom. It's supposed to be like all cute and like it was knocked over. Um, I put some plant food in there. That's what those white things are. And I also watered it and I'm hoping it'll come back to life. I don't know, we'll see. It looks pretty dead. Somehow we can accidentally grow corn and that, why? Quick story time with Tara. 
when we first got our chickens, we would let them free roam. And we would let them free roam right where I was showing you that corn stalk was. Um, we would throw all their cracked corn out there, all their food, because we wanted to keep them in, like, in the clothes in a certain area because they would run over to the neighbor's yard, kick up his mulch, and the neighbor did not like it. Don't blame him. So anyways, we started putting all their food up here so they would stay in the front yard, not in the backyard so they wouldn't go to the neighbors because we don't have neighbors to our front. Well, they're really far away. Mm. It kind of correlates with our vacation stuff because we went on vacation last summer. We went on vacation for two whole weeks and we got back and there was a mini cornfield growing in the front yard. Throwing the cracked corn like that could create corn to grow. Like, I did not know that would happen. We got some landscapers to come out. They ripped it all up for us, planted a new tree, planted some new things. However, the guy said it could be years before all the corn tries to stop popping up. I thought about letting the corn grow and just seeing if we could get corn. Found out it's like just field corn that's like meant more for animals. It's not really human grade corn. So. Hey, to the chickens. Oh, by the way, diesel too much smells upkeep. so bad. Diesel smells. So bad. No, like, newsflash. Story time over. I think he rolled around in poop because he made the whole house smell. Really? Yes, yeah, so I put him outside in the garage. Okay, tell Daddy to go give him a bath. There's shampoo by the laundry room sink. Oh, this little guy's still going strong. I just watered him or her. Oh, I need some more water. It's not quite wet enough on top. You're up, sir. He's your dog. Uh, Diesel loves, loves to roll in poop. We have horses around here that come around our yard. Which is beautiful. They, which is amazing. But they I, poop. But they poop. And it might not have even been the horse this time, but last time it was the horse poop. He saw a big pile of, pile of horse poo. And rolled around. The minute he saw it and he sniffed it, he was like, I'm rolling in this. I just want to know whose story times are better, mine or Jesse's? Because I think mine are better. Oh my God, what is that? My plant is leaking. Okay, so we were researching some fun things to do with our ferrets, and um, we saw this thing where you can make like a rice beach. And basically you take a bunch of rice and you put it in like a tub and they love to dig in it and stuff. And we read not to use instant rice because, oh my God, what do I have in my eye? Because they can eat it and it will like expand in their stomach. And if they start eating it, you have to immediately take them out. I don't know why we have 20 pounds of rice for some reason. We didn't even buy it for this reason, but we got 20 pounds. So let's go start dumping it in there. Oh my god, but I'm so heavy. So heavy, okay. Okay, we're gonna use this giant thing. Got the rice. Got some scissors. And... There we go. Oh! So much rice. Look at all that rice. Okay. We have this a little bit more, so I'm gonna use it. Okay, this is all of the rice. The lady um, that I saw do it, she didn't like um, spread it all the way to the end. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna spread it all the way. There we go. I just have a feeling this might turn into like a giant mess, but we're gonna find out right now. Here they are. Let's see. What do you think? Is it so cool? Oh, they're already tunneling. But it's so cute. Oh my gosh, Ada, they're making a mess. Yeah, he's making a mess. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> red. Now I have rice everywhere. Like, this is insane. Bruh. All right, so <laughs> they're coming around to the rice box. They're starting to like it. Um, but they just want to keep, like, fighting with each other. It's so funny. Like, they're like, this rice box is mine and mine only. <laughs> But they love to dig. When we let them outside, they dig and dig and dig and dig and dig in the dirt. So this is a perfect way to get their digging out. It's so cute, look at them go. <laughs> the grouch. The grouch is all done. He's so grouchy right now, look at his face. I know, he's like, you took all that nice smelling stuff off of me and covered me with Nasty smell. From a really annoying cleanliness perspective, I would not do this again. Maybe, maybe like out in our garage or out in the lanai, not in doors. Definitely not on carpet. Um, but it's just really annoying to clean up a bunch of little rice. Like, it's just not fun. Do we, is it rices? It's just rice. Rice is just all of it, right? Yeah. 
So, but they have so much energy. Yeti and Bear are having so much energy right now. They're like wild animals. Yeti just took a little water break. And, uh, a bear, sorry. And he's ready to go back at it again. Like, he's just, let me down, let me down. Ah, pooper! No! No, Yeti! They always find corners to poop in. I learned this after we got the ferrets that uh, they like to poop in corners. I don't know why, but any corner they'll happily poop in. I get, at least like we know that. We know where to find the poop, right? You just check all the corners of the house. Check the corners. <laughs> you look like you're having more fun than Yeti and Bear playing in this rice. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> You've got starch all over your face. Rice starch. Look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> It's like rice dust. Even Ada just said how fun the rice is to play with. It is fun. You're the biggest kid I know. You're the biggest kid. Playing with all the young ones. Babe, go play in the rice. Ew, I don't want to play in no, it. No, go play in it's it. I want to see if you like it as much no, as the kids do. No, I hate do. the feeling, the just, chalkiness. Play just play in it. No, you do it. No, just, just give it a try. I'll okay. play with that. You're not going to do it? I don't like do that it? feeling on my hands, no. I don't want to play with it. Rory's definitely down to play with it. All right, what, what do you do in rice? Like, what do you actually do? So what's fun with the rice? That you can do this, you uh -huh. put your feet in and you go. Oh, I'm cringing. <laughs> I'm cringing. Okay, okay, you're gonna, make a, you're gonna make a bigger mess than Yeti and Bear. Rory. Can I bathe in it? Is it like clothes? You're gonna bathe in it? Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like you already are bathing in it, but you're not gonna get very clean. <laughs> okay, I guess Rory's got some tricks here she wants to share with us. It's so funny. So you're gonna make a pile. It's not a trick, but it's super funny. Okay, what is it? Oh no! Ew! <laughs> Wait, let me see your face. Let me see your face. Look at your hands. <laughs> She's covered in starch. Let me see. Look, look at no, your no, hands. It looks so no. dusty. No, don't touch me! No, stop! Get her, Rory. Get no. her. Get her, Rory. No. Get her. No, Chase no. her down, get her, get her. Look at Diesel chillaxing after his bath. He looks like a puppy there. Baby, look, it looks like when we got him as a puppy. Really? So if you guys didn't know, when we first got Diesel, his name was actually Cody. But I always wanted to name a dog Diesel because I felt like Diesel is like a big, strong heart. <laughs> we found out that he does have a strong heart. Babe, look, Tara. Tara, look, he looks like a puppy, look. Come see, quick. Sorry, I've been washing rice powder off my hands. No, look, doesn't he look like see, when we first so got him? You should just blow dry him. I let him back in the house. He doesn't like to be blow dried. He likes to air dry. How do you know? Because when I blow dry him, he tries to bite <laughs> the blow dryer. That's how I know. <laughs> okay, understood. I never thought I'd see the day that I have 40 pounds of rice in my living room. 20 pounds. It's a 20 pounds? Yeah. Okay, 20 pounds of rice in my living room. And the kids would be playing in it like it's a, like, the like it's a playground. Yes. <laughs> it's fun to just like play with it. Maybe you should make some rice balloons. Yeah. You like put rice in a balloon, throw it around like a hacky sack. How do, do we even have balloons? We do have balloons. It's so fun fact about me and Tara, we, um, our impulse shoppers. You. Me. Uh, me. Yeah. yeah me. Okay. I, I like to see the things in the aisles and I'm like, ooh, let's get that. That'll be fun. And then we end up having all of this extra stuff that we completely forget about. But today just kind of worked out because we needed these balloons um, because we're going to fill them up with rice and see what happens. It's going to be just like a hacky sack. It's going to be fun. We don't need to do this. Why? Why don't you want to do this? Um, because you guys are having all the fun. Well, I have to unpack from vacation. It's not fair. Hashtag not fair. Unfair. So I'm not sure what's gonna like. Okay, I, got, I have air right here. I have rice right here in this funnel, and we're gonna see like if this is even gonna work. I don't oh, think it's no, gonna work. No, the air goes right through. <laughs> yeah, that definitely doesn't work. Okay, I'm getting rice in there. Now try to get some more air in there, maybe. Because look at it would be like the <laughs> tiniest rice balloon ever. Can I try to put more air. Can't put more air. This is the most. Can I Tell me to see that. Can I see that. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, feel it. I really just I want to be done with the rice. Like, can we just everywhere. can we just put it away? It's literally everywhere. Like, why is this our life, Jayla? Um, I'm glad I wasn't a part of this. Look at Rory. Look at her face. What she, did you put on it? Rice dust. It's working. It's oh, working. What is that? It was 
Ada's idea too. She like figured oh. out how to. That feeling. Squish it. It hurts your teeth. It's like a big cotton ball. Ew, no, don't say that. You just oh. got rice in your mouth? Yes, and Yeti and Bear were like swimming all over this. So was Rory, and she's been outside barefoot. Oh, gross. Ew, you better go sanitize your mouth. That's disgusting. Stop doing that. That's gross. Yeah, that that is. What? Is it getting in? It's stuck. No, it's not getting in. Yes, it's getting in. It was just now. Ew. Hey, you guys. We're gonna say goodbye for now. I'm abandoning this. I'm done. They can deal with it. Remember, don't do drugs. Give hugs in. Eat chicken nuts. Okay, let me see this. Let me see this. Oh, it is like a. No, it's like a hacky sack. It's more like a hacky sack than a cotton yeah. ball. But I always thought hacky sacks did feel like cotton balls. But look, look, now you can, oh, you can pick it. <gasps> All right, we gotta go. Hey,